Hi everyone, welcome back to another Robert Does Fishing vlog. Uh, today I've just popped down to uh, Borland Fishery, just outside Cumnock in East Ayrshire. Um, I did say at the end of my the end of my last video when I was doing it the River Ale that um, I think I'm going to have a shot at the shot at the rainbow trout today. So um, it's been a while since I've been since I've been down here. This is one of my one of my sort of regular haunts for um, you know for fishery fishery rainbows. Um, so yeah, we'll give this a, a shot today and, 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 and see how we go. Um, but no, just before I get into my uh, into my setups for today and explain what we'll be doing, I just wanted to to thank everyone that's that's been watching the videos and that's been uh, contributing to the channel and uh, liking the videos, subscribing, um, and the overall engagement. Um, it's been really really good uh, answering uh, a lot of questions that people have and um, and just responding to um, to some really really kind kind comments so so thanks very much uh, guys for uh, for continuing to uh, engage with the channel and hopefully uh, these videos are, are enjoyable as I say I'm not a professional at all um, I just do this as a as a hobby um, and I think as, as I said in my first video I, I really enjoy watching other people's um, fishing adventures so um, if you uh, if you enjoy watching these videos then that's that's great if, if you learn something from it then that's that's more than what you know than what I've set out set out to do with these. So, so yeah, it's really just a bit of fun, guys. But as I say, it's it's been great, um, great chatting with a lot of you in the comments. So, so thank you very much to those of you that have, um, that have, um, you know, that have made those comments and um, uh, and engaged with the channel. Um, so yeah, today um, there's two ponds at Borland here. The top one's a fly only pond. And it's uh, catch and release only, so this is normally uh, where I fish. There's a bottom pond as well where you can fly fish, um, but that's for like the normally for the bait fishers, um, uh, where they they take fish home with them. So weather for today, I think it's to be overcast, maybe about seventeen degrees, um, and a uh, wee bit of wind, 10, 11, 12 miles an hour max, southwesterly wind. So that's ideal for the. The fishing here in South West Scotland. That's right, so my setups today, I've got my two rods with me. Usual, um, both 10 foot 7 weight rods. Uh, first rod set up with the hover, the hover line, the intermediate hover line. And on the point there, I've just got a black and green, uh, black and green lure uh, with a hot head and some UV, UV green straggle fits. Uh, probably about um, maybe about five or six feet up from that, I've got a wee black uh, cormorant pattern um, on the dropper. Uh, so we'll spend the first sort of half an hour just uh, working the margins with that lure and see if we can we can pick anything up. Um, but for my floating line setup today, I'm going to try a washing line setup with a, a foam daddy. So hopefully you can see that there. That's the foam, some foam daddy long legs that I've been that I've been tying up. So I'm going to try a washing line setup with that. Um, and for those that don't know what the washing line is, um, it's basically a method of fishing whereby you're using your floating line, and then um, after your floating line, you've got your uh, you've got your leader and you've got your cast of flies. But on the point fly, uh, you normally choose a really buoyant fly. Now you can see that foam daddy's got a bit of foam in it. Um, other flies you could use on the uh, the point are things like uh, really bushy bushy dry flies. You could use uh, fabs. You could use boobies, anything that's going to hold those other two flies up. So the flies on your droppers. So the flies between your point fly, the buoyant fly, and the end of your floating line all sort of hang down in the water column. Um, almost like items on a washing line, hence why they call that the, the, the washing line method. So we'll give that a try today. Foam daddy on the point. Um, further up, I've got a wee... Just a wee Dalbach pattern. I don't know if you can see that. And then right at the top, uh, the top dropper, um, I've got a wee pearly black spider on. So that's the setup for now. Um, as always, I'll probably change that throughout the course of the day. So, yep, let's start making some casts with the um, with the lure. We're working the margins, working our way around here, and we'll uh, we'll see how we get on. All right. All right, guys. Let's have a few casts with a lure and see how we get on. I've moved round to the other side from where I did my wee intro, it was um, still quite weedy. It looks as if they've had a good bit of, good, good bit of weed here during the summer. Uh, that 
actually out. Well done. And you check that that hook's debarred. Which it is, yep. Also there's a fish right there. I might not be able to see that but Let's see if I can tempt him. Nah. <laughs> He ran away from the lure, I spooked him. And there's a fish right in front of me there. Don't know if you can see that, the camera picks it up. I put that lure right past its face. That's not interested. <laughs> Might be the same fish that I spooked off earlier. Give that a minute to sink, a fish moving up there. Hopefully we get some fish today guys. Uh, uh, there is a lot, a lot of big fish in here. Um, like fish right up to 20, 20 plus pounds I think. Uh, big brown trout. Pretty sure there's tigers in here as well. Uh, blues and, and rainbows. So yeah, it is a, it's a big fish water. Um, I've only ever caught one double figure brown trout from here before, but it was a stunning fish. I've seen quite a few fish moving so far, which is always encouraging. Hopefully that means they're on the feed. Oh, that was a bloody fish. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I was letting the line settle there. I break the surface film and I felt a tug. It might come back for it, however. I think if it was really interested, it would have went for it again. There's a fish. I thought I felt a couple of taps there. <clears throat> nice wee rainbow by the look. I thought I seen a fish swirling at my fly there and then I was like Is that There we go My fly should just pop out Yeah A nice rainbow Maybe about a pound and three quarters, or a couple of pounds. Right, let's see if we can go back. Lively enough anyway. 
Go on. There it goes. Yeah, good start. Let's see if we can pick up another one in the lure before moving to the moving to the washing line. Sun's out a wee bit now, so hopefully that'll hopefully that'll catch the flash on the fly a bit. Maybe attract some more interest. Maybe, uh, it's maybe not windy enough actually for the for the daddy long legs. I think the um, I think the daddy long legs are terrestrial flies, so it tends to be when they get blown onto the water uh, that the trout seem to go for them. It's maybe not windy enough, so I maybe actually change the the daddy long legs for a blob. Um, sorry, a fab, yeah, like a, a foam arse blob uh, pattern. Let's see how we got on with that. It is a, it's a wee bit more windier over in the corner there, uh, where the wind's hitting the water. But it's pretty flat calm otherwise. Uh, maybe the fish would want something presented a bit more static. Oh my goodness, that's quite a big. A big fish, I think, showing itself. Yeah, let's see what's happening here. I usually tie, tie my dropper fly off of the tippet ring, hey, off the tippet ring where I connect my cut back tapered leader to my hey, fluorocarbon but to be honest sometimes it creates more hassle than it's worth. Um, I just don't like using, I don't like using um, you know, fly line straight to straight to fluorocarbon because I feel like the fluorocarbon, even if you create a loop to create a loop to a loop to loop connection, your fly line it can, depending on the diameter of the fluorocarbon, obviously, but it can cut into your welded loop, and that's why I tend to use cut back tapered leaders as well, as well as aiding with the turnover um, of the flies, is to to try and protect my welded loop a bit. But yeah, having a dropper off the having a dropper off of the tippet ring is um, not ideal at times. It can create more tangles than it's worth, as I say. I might change over to the uh, daddy long legs. I'll give it a shot and see how we got on. If nothing doing, then we can put a. You can put a blob on. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just chuck this out and wind it back in with the reel. And then we'll try the daddy long legs. I go and see how we go on. It may or may not work, but <laughs> give it the odd twitch. It's 
sometimes the movement will, or the commotion on the surface will bring fish up to investigate. Oh, straight away it drowned it. It's coming back for it. Yep, got it. That was good. It was like it, uh, it tried to drown, drown the daddy long legs there and then it came back to have a go at it. That was good. Your long legs is working then. Excellent. That took the daddy long legs. Yeah, I think that took the daddy long legs again. Good. Ah oh, well, it's working. The method's working so far. Oh, feisty bee fish. Come on. When you come. There we go. Oh, a nice rainbow. Got a kind of dark. Dark colours. Let's get there we go, there's the daddy long legs out. There he goes. Excellent. That was a big, big fish moving in the middle there. A seriously big fish. Feels like a decent fish. Oh, it's taking on it. I 
That took the spider. Yeah, it did. Oh, oh. Oh, don't go into those. Don't go into those. Ah, geez, oh, this fish is fighting hard. Ah, oh, don't go in the weeds. My goodness, it's not a big fish as well. Get out of the weeds. Oh, what a mess he's put me in. Right, there's the hook out. There he goes. I was all tangled up my cast. Not to worry. Oh no. That's been a good start. Good good start to the morning so far. It's four four nice fish we've had. Hopefully I can get this this tangle out. On a uh, first inspection, it doesn't seem too bad. Right. All right, guys, I've changed over to a wee tiny CDC midge pattern. I think it's a size 18 or a 20. The fish are still taking stuff off the surface, but it's not quite so obvious as to what it is. It could be buzzers, so hopefully this wee midge pattern will... Um, will attract some interest. I've already had one offer and I, I missed it. Um, I've already got the fly in the water, but I'll, I'll uh, post another picture up of uh, one of the flies that I'm using. Um, I think it was a pattern that I, I tied uh, after watching Davy McPhail's uh, Davy McPhail's video on it. But it is small. As I say, I think it's an 18 or a 20. I've tied it on a clink, a clink hammer hook as well, so it's a bit, the hook's a bit of an odd shape. Um, and because the fly is so small, um, I'm using three pound maxima after the tapered leader, so there's a good chance <laughs> good chance I've got broken off uh, if a fish does decide to have a go at it, but we'll see, stranger things have happened so yeah, a long, uh, long leader, I think I've got about I think it's about a 11 foot 11 foot tapered leader um, didn't you a wee tip at ring and then I've added about three feet uh, three feet or three pound maximum ultra green on the end still plenty of fish moving there was a big uh, big massive brown trout swam right past me um, in the margins nice big fish It's good having the polarised sunnies on because you can you can see them clear as day through the water. I think something came up and had a look at that there. Oh, there we go. Ah, missed it. Not peak concentration there. Mm, 
just another one. Oh my goodness. Just another. Wonder if it's a weird angle of that hook. Alright guys, this will need to be the last cast. I need to head off. Quiet afternoon. Plenty of fish moving, just None to the net. Missed a few in the dries. Missed a few in that wee midge pattern. But um, yeah, an enjoyable day nonetheless, guys. It was a uh, good seeing the, the sort of visual action in the morning with the with the daddy long legs. Um, that was good fun. Uh, so yeah, as usual, guys. If you if you like if you like watching the videos, if you. If you could be kind enough to, to like the video and if you want to see more videos like this or you want to see my my previous videos in the channel then uh, you can always uh, hit the subscribe button as well. Um, we'll be back out. We'll be back out soon. Um, definitely going to get back out for another shot at the trout in the river before the before the season ends. Where that will be yet, I'm, um, I don't know. Um, a few of the rivers that I fish... Um, Close for trout on the 15th of September. Um, others stay open till um, uh, sort of end of September, um, start of October. So, and then um, I, I'm going back up to the, the D for a shot at the salmon again. And um, uh, the 8th and the 9th of September. So, um, if I don't see you before then, that might be the that might be the next time you. You see me or I get a chance to, to upload a video. So so yeah, thanks uh, thanks again for watching guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed today's video. And we'll see you soon. Cheers, thanks. <laughs>